Here are our top 5 stories of the week. Number 5. Fendt shows first hydrogen tractor at German Hydrogen Summit. Hydrogen is seen as an important solution to problems in agriculture and forestry, and can be generated from various sources such as biogas plants or forest residual wood. Fendt, along with other partners, is participating in the H2 Agro Agricultural Model Project in Lower Saxony to research a hydrogen infrastructure for agricultural use, and will deliver two first-generation prototypes of a hydrogen-powered tractor to farms in Heron in April 2023. The aim of the project is to investigate the usability and performance potential of hydrogen for agricultural machinery, determine the hydrogen consumption of the tractors, and research technical requirements for a suitable hydrogen infrastructure for agriculture to reduce CO2 emissions from agricultural vehicles. Number 4. TPER Bologna has published a tender for 127 fuel cell buses, with option for further 140. Municipal operator TPER in Bologna and Ferrara area issues tender for 127 fuel cell buses, with an option for further 140 vehicles, to achieve zero emissions in Bologna by 2030, 20 years ahead of the EU target for 2050. The tender also includes locally produced biomethane-powered vehicles, and the supply of spare parts for the entire life cycle of the vehicles. The purchase of the buses, funded by Next Generation EU, is estimated at 76.2 million euros for the base price of 127 buses, with concerns about inflation and rise in supply prices being discussed. Number 3. Hyzen Motors to launch Australia's first locally designed and built hydrogen-powered garbage and tow truck. Australian company Hyzen Motors to launch locally built 27-ton hydrogen-powered truck, with commercial trials starting this year. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are preferred over rechargeable batteries for heavy vehicles, as they are lighter and require less downtime. The adoption of zero-emission trucks could be accelerated by binding sales targets, despite the higher costs, and government support is essential for the transition to green vehicles. Number 2. First Hydrogen Corporation unveils images of Generation 2 vehicle with fuel cell and battery electric options. First Hydrogen Corp. reveals sketches of its Generation 2 hydrogen fuel cell electric or battery electric commercial van developed with Global Mobility Experts EDAG Group. The Generation 2 concept vehicle features a modern, aerodynamic design with vertical tail lights, branded daytime running lights, and a functional and stylish large front grille to provide ventilation for the fuel cell. First Hydrogen is targeting the light commercial vehicle sector to support fleet operators to transition to zero emission transport and is currently trialing its generation ICEVs with major fleet operators in the UK. Number 1. H2 Pro and Sumitomo Corp. to partner on high-efficiency green hydrogen and ammonia deal worth $250 million. H2 Pro and Sumitomo Corporation are partnering to integrate green hydrogen into Sumitomo's clean energy transition plans, with Sumitomo integrating H2 Pro's ETAC electrolyzers at the hundreds of MW scale, primarily for use in green ammonia projects. Sumitomo will collaborate with H2 Pro on operations for H2 Pro's technology pilot and demonstration and will supply H2 Pro with various manufacturing equipment through its extensive network. By the second half of this decade, Sumitomo plans to incorporate H2 Pro's electrolyzer technology to produce several hundred tons of green hydrogen per day. This partnership is a critical strategic move for H2 Pro to scale its technology, making green hydrogen accessible to both existing and emerging hydrogen markets and applications and supporting Japan's decarbonization strategy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We invite you to like, comment, and share with others who may enjoy our content.